Congratulations, you made it. We're almost at the end. How's everybody doing today? Great. Great? I can't hear you guys. Come on, how's everybody doing today? Great. All right, so I want to thank you guys for allowing me to come up here on stage. As, as they said earlier, I am the 2018 president of the Miami Association of Realtors. It's one of my greatest honors. I have also been a keynote speaker throughout the world, thanks to our association who's given me this platform to share our message across. Um, I started real estate 20 years ago, and I started in a small city, which is now a large city, called Doral. When I first started selling real estate, the market was uh, coming down and we had this small group of people from Venezuela that just got a new president elected, Hugo Chavez, and that's when I first started my first venture into international sales. As, as great as it was from a commission perspective, as a Cuban American, I got to hear the same stories that my grandparents told me about you know the political situation in their country and I got to experience a whole entire country coming in that experience taught me a lot it taught me not, not only to be sensitive with people that, that, that are coming in but to also be prepared for what for what's coming in many aspects and I hope to share some of it with here today all right with that being said, before I start, I want to talk to you about what's important with me. These are my two sons, Dominic and Alec. I have my wife taking care of them at, at home, but this is my reason why. This is the reason why I get out of bed. This is the reason why I, I'm, I'm so involved within my industry. It's really for them and their future. So, there's been a huge technology revolution taking place. Who's been in the industry for the last 20 years? Can, I, can you raise your hand? Awesome. In the last 20 years, my office was next to Sedanos or Publix. You would drive your, your cart and you would point at a sign and I would jump out there. I would offer you Cuban coffee, which would get you talking a lot. And I'd find out what you wanted and what were your needs. And from that point forward, you were my client. 10 years after I got my license, we had a major revolution in technology, which was the internet. What a game changer. No longer did I control search, now my clients controlled search. Not only did my clients control search, but now anybody can search anywhere in the world. What a huge game changer that was. So my first step, or my first tip, as an international realtor, or somebody wanting to do business international, is to be visible. What do I mean by visible? 98% of all home buyers go where? They go online. 98% of, let me, let me rephrase it, the first showing happens where? Online. For millennials, you, we, we need to put our marketing in front of their eyes. And if you see, their eyes are usually glued to a mobile screen or a computer. Can we agree on that? All right? Now, note the trend. Online video counts for 65% of all online traffic. 60% of people watch videos online every single day. 85% of video is watched without sound. Know the trend. As Teresa pointed out in, in her survey yesterday, 11% of, of the international home buyers could not find their property unexcusable. As international players, we have to be visible. We have to put our content in front of where people's eyes are at. Okay, this is an example of, of a video here in South Florida. The ability to show a property 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days out of the year is our mission to stay in our industry. Keep this in mind. In South Florida, almost 25% of our home buyers come from another country. Very similar to all the countries that are here today. The ability to showcase this anywhere in the world, for me and for people here in South Florida, has been a game changer. And the question you have to ask is very simple. Can I make you feel like you're walking in this house from your iPhone, your iPad, or your computer? Ladies and gentlemen, there's no better way to do international business than to show them something that they can't see unless they're there. Can we agree on that? Yes. All right, this is a good crowd so far. International buyers, 610,000 is the average sale price of a property sold to an international buyer. 58% of them bought cash. In order of preference, they bought condos, preferably. They bought single family homes, townhouses, and lastly, land. They bought primarily for vacation and rental investments. And again, 11% unexcusable could not find their property. For those of you guys that don't understand 610,000, let me write this in commission form. <laughs> All right. La ladies and gentlemen, this is big money. 
These commissions are quarter makers or, or life changers for a lot of people. So, so great incentive to get involved in the international business. How do we do international here in South Florida? Number one, we start by building up a network. Ladies and gentlemen, you're only as good as your team. And in international, you cannot do it alone. You need a Miami realtor. With 25% of our transactions international, no other real estate association has more experience with international clients than us. We're well connected, we have a lot of international experiences, and we have the tools to grow our partnership, which I'm gonna share with you today. In my international team, who is a must? Number one is having legal counsel. Okay, not only to advise my foreign national in what entity he should use to purchase property, but for those that want to make Miami or South Florida home to figure out the, the, the immigration path to, to the U.S. Number two is mortgages. We saw 58% of the home buyers bought cash. In the United States, you don't need to spend all your cash. You can leverage financing at very competitive rates. As an international realtor, you need to know what those rates are and give your clients those opportunities to maximize their investment here in the US. So that one commission can easily be two commissions if you plan for it accordingly. Accountant, I want somebody to let my foreign national know how much is going to cost them from a tax perspective to bring money into my country? And when they make money in my country, what is the process and the cost to take money out? Does that make sense to you all? Yes? All right, this is a great crowd. Last but not least, last year's presentation, we had one of our sponsors, which she was a designer, and she told me, George, how could you not have a designer part of that team? And sure enough, shame on me. I added it this year. And with, with foreign nationals coming into South Florida for vacation homes and for investment rentals, having the ability to turn key or facilitate their furnitures is, is a game changer for us. Now, in my industry, we always want leads. George, I want leads, I want leads. With foreign, uh, as a foreign realtor, we find leads, all right? Did you hear me? We find leads. Where do we find leads? Number one, according to the numbers, 82% of all leads came from where? Personal contacts, previous clients, business clients, social circle, past clients, everybody, 80% of your business is in your phone. Under contacts, 82% of your business is in your Facebook friends. 82% of your business is in your LinkedIn. 82% of your business is in your Proxio. It's really about you reaching out and doing what? Connecting like we're doing here today. All right, look around you. For, for those that aren't from the US, find yourself a Miami realtor and connect. For those of you that are Miami realtors, find yourself an international partner and connect. This, ladies and gentlemen, is where it happens. At the speed of now, what tools do I use to connect with my international partners? So relationships are great, but if we're able to add value to that relationship, now we are in business. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. All right. So the first tool that I love to use is I love to use IMAP. So I'll give you an example. If, is there anybody from Colombia here? Yes. All right, Colombia, I want you to pay attention. Okay, if we are partners, and I want to add value to our relationship, and I'm here in, the, in Miami, and you are in Colombia, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to IMAP. And I'm going to search owner country, and guess what country? Oof, we're, we're going to go far here. Once I do this, I, IMAP gives me a list of every person who bought a property in South Florida that lives in Colombia. Can, you didn't know that, did you? Huh, stick with me, kids, you'll go far. Now, with that being said, with this list, what can I do? I can easily create a mail campaign and say, hey, my name is George Guerra. I am partners with, what's your name over there? Florent. Florent? Florida. Florida. I am partners with Flora. Florida is my go-to person in Colombia, and I am her go-to person here in Miami. I see that you own property here in Miami. If you need anybody to check it out during a hurricane, or rent it out, or, or sell it, we can work together. Does that make sense? Awesome. As I dig in there, I can also see that this gentleman's name is Gabriel Hernandez, and guess what? He hasn't paid his taxes. 
Uh-oh. So I'm going to say, Flora, I, I need you to knock on his door and say that your partner from Miami says that he's got to pay his taxes because he's, he's got some equity and it'd be a shame for him to lose it. All right? I can also go and I can go into RPR and I can give you a full report on what Gabriel Hernandez's property is worth. Okay, over 60 pages of information, where the trends are heading, what the cost per square foot is, what the cost per bedroom is, what is the average median price. Enough information there that Gabriel will think that our partnership is on another level, that you have partnered up with the best realtor in South Florida, and it's really a tool that every one of our members has and that every one of our members knows how to use. All right, I can go and, and with RPR, I can create a property report and it will give me again an incredible amount of information that you can send to your clients. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes. All right. Now, it's all about relationships. All right. There's no technology out there that can create a relationship. Technology only enhances relationships. So I, I, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite technologies to enhance relationships. Who's part of Proxio? Raise your hand. All right. Who's going to be part of Proxio tomorrow? Raise your hand. All right. <laughs> so this is where this is where we connect throughout the world. This is where realtors get together. It's the only place where we find bathrooms and kitchens and views attractive, okay, where we like and we enjoy to share and we want to connect. So Proxio is where I go, not only to flex my muscles here in Miami, look at my listings, look at how good I sell real estate, but also to connect with people anywhere in the world. So you can see here, just from, from a bird's eye view, the amount of members that we have throughout the world. So if I want, uh, according to, to the international buyer survey that I looked over yesterday, Brazil is one of the main buyers here in South Florida. So guess where I'm going to want to connect with? Brazil. I need to, I need to follow Portuguese, but Brazil is going to be my start. All right? Colombia is going to be my number two. You got that, partner? All right. So, so, so here you see me create a filter, and I get to filter out my, the people that I, I, I want to connect with. And the beauty about this is, easy way to create direct messaging. So you guys saw earlier the video that I showed you. Okay, that was a video of an average property that we sell here in South Florida. To be able to get that video and send it to one of my Proxio members is, is a game changer. Again, just another way to flex my expertise. Okay, for, for those that are here uh, international, you're gonna want to create a partner with somebody that can add value to the relationship, that can help you grow your presence within your country. All right? Now, understand this. I go, and as an international broker that I am now after today's uh, talk that we have today, uh, I'm gonna make sure that from a video perspective, I go out there and I create video content. Because what? I wanna be visible. All right? Besides being visible, visible I, I want to make sure that I have the right team. So when I'm visible and they say, George, I saw that international property, I want to see it, I can say, awesome, I'm going to have my international team ready for you once you land from your private jet. And I'm going to have my attorney, again, who's going to make sure that he tells my client, this is the proper entity to hold it and to protect your asset. My mortgage lender or, or my, my finance partner to say, hey, in your country, financing is available. Let, let me show you some of the plans that can save you money and possibly double your investment here in the States. An accountant to make sure, again, that he knows or my client is fully aware of the tax issues that he's going to have bringing money in and how much taxes he's going to pay once his investment is successful and he's bringing money out of the country. And last but not least, in my team, I want to make sure that the, pro the property is properly decorated. So when I sell, the pictures look spectacular and they're easy to sell. Lastly, or second to lastly, I want to make sure that I have the tools to add value to our relationship. So something as simple as IMAP, where I can go and filter any country that I want and share that information with my partner, I, I think it's a great way to start establishing a working relationship. I think if we can create dialogue with people in your country who own properties in my country, I, I think we have a, a, a conversation starter that we didn't have before. All right? Lastly, we have to make it official. 
Okay, and the first sign of a true professional is what? Getting it on paper. Getting it on paper. So the National Association of Realtors, they have what's called an international referral contract. And this is what we pass around, and this is what we get signed by our partners. So let's make it official, and let's get some signatures going. Question over there. Is that a form of simplicity, or how do get that? So that's a great question. If, if you use this awesome tool, okay, I don't know if you guys have this website, but you might want to write it down. You ready? G O O G L E dot com. If you if you Google NAR referral international referral agreement, it will be the first one that pops up. I promise you. So 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 you you know what? That's a great question for our professionals that I'm sure at some point can answer that for us. Website. There you go. So, so you, you know what? The board will review it and consider it and possibly make a future motion and see if we can add that to our, to our, but I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. So with that being said, do you guys have any questions that, that I can maybe answer? We, we have a good five, ten minutes left. <laughs> so, yeah, I do. Shoot. How are you doing? I'm always very glad to hear with you wonderful people. So uh, when you sign your, your referral agreement, do you take it a step further and make that your partner for multiple transactions? You know what? Great, great question. And, and, and that's what I do. Absolutely. Yeah. Once, once we consummate the relationship, we're partners for life, especially in inter international. Do you put that in your agreement, though, right? right. Not yet, but we're, we're going to. Keep, keep, keep in mind that my experience, and I've been doing real estate for 20 years. My, my first international experience was actually to Peru. And, and, and uh, it, it was on a trade mission with the city of Miami. And uh, I've learned this, that once you establish an international partner, no doubt an agreement is in order. No doubt a, uh, a big agreement can work. But their loyalty is fierce. And if you do good, if you're honest, and if you really put their, their interests first, the referrals that come out of there are, are forever. And not only do they refer, but whoever sent, whoever bought from you refers their whole entire family. One come, they all come. So, as I, as I started 20 years ago, and we had a, the Venezuelan crisis come in, and uh, we had a, a horde of Venezuelan buyers, unfortunately, come into our, our, our country, I, young, 20-something-year-old, English speaker only needed to learn Spanish at the speed of now. I learned words like hipoteca. I, I, I learned words like contrato. So keep in mind that when it comes to international business, one thing that I didn't bring out there is number one, understand their language. Understand the terms that, that they speak. Just because when you're dealing with one of the most expensive assets of people's lives, clear talk is always in order. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I, I want to thank you guys for number one, getting involved in the international world, partnering up here with Miami, the number one association in the nation. Um, I want to thank our, si since I'm the last one, I get to do some light thanking. I, I want to thank Linda over here for putting it all together. Linda, can you stand up and give us a big round of applause?